year, some of the things that are going on, so just be prepared. Next month, we're going to have some presentations by building principals. Uh, I think that being said, uh, I think also, too, uh, we'll discuss a little bit here about our snow days. Uh, I call all of you guys just like I do everybody else when we let out, but we have been on uh, new stations as far as how we do it. Uh, we we do that we do what's allowed by doing that by the hour. Uh, we actually uh, there's two ways to have school uh, on the calendar. One of them is uh, 180 days, five of those days being staff development, two of them being minimum. Uh, 75 instructional, five staff development, total in 180 is one way. The other one is by the hour or the minutes. It's 1050 instructional, uh, 1080. Um, Hours would be the uh, uh, total amount. Uh, what we do by going to 8 to 3 o'clock, we go more than the 1050 instructional, and we have to turn in a form to the State Department to show exactly. So we have built in more days. So as in 23 from Solid on 23, uh, I'm explaining how we do it, and evidently, unintentionally, I want to get compared to anybody or put somebody else on it, but they were kind of, I guess, digging at Broken Arrow because they were out of days already the way I saw the report come out. That wasn't intended that way uh, to educate people with what you can do and what we do. What's lucky right now, we're not making up any of those days. We have it, we have more built into the calendar where we don't have to come back. I've been asked, how much do we have? Um, the way you calculate that is you go 8 o'clock to 3, you get your total minutes, you subtract your lunch time. And it's different. The elementary has a 20 minute lunch all the way to 25 minutes lunch. So you think that five minutes doesn't make much, but over you know 175 days, that five minutes totals up to more than a day and a half, two days difference in the building. So we have anywhere from four to six days left in our calendar that we could still miss snow days without having to make them up. There are some concerns about, I talked to uh, uh, Randy, the HR department in Edmond Public Schools. I talked to um, uh, Lisa, the superintendent of the health office, Lisa Presley, and uh, you know, they're, they're wondering how we're doing. And basically, that's exactly what we're doing. Um, uh, and we've been doing it that way for a while. Yes, we've been doing that. That is correct. So basically, we send in the calendar of the State Department, they send you back that, that whole calculation that's come up. And, and ours is a little bit more difficult because when we use Thursday mornings, uh, that amount of time, we have to subtract that from instructional time. So we've got a line for Monday through Thursday, you know, being so many days. Then we have 34 days, which that's how many Thursdays you have in a school year. And then we, we actually go from 9 o'clock until 3 and subtract the lunch out of it. So basically, when you come out with it, then it totals up. Uh, but if you was to take, like I said, 180, uh, and you, uh, I mean, 10, 1080, and you was to divide by 6, you come up with the uh, exact amount of how many days. If you take the 1050 and divide it by 6, you come up with how many days. So it's the same amount. That we do not go to 1050. We go to like 11 something. So we've got, we have made it built in because of the length of time that we go. So, uh, I, you know, I wanted to get into that because I know a lot of parents are sitting out there saying, well, we're going to have to come back at the end of the year. When I look at the calendar, we don't have a whole lot of, we don't have days built in. I think we have a good variety uh, in there. Uh, so I think that's, that's one of them. Uh, Anyway, uh, I, I wanted to explain that to you. 